Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is watching Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early What I See Discreet Study and Prayer line on this 27th day in March of 2024. Hallelujah. Let's get it, y'all. Back at it like a fanatic. Uh, Romans uh, 15. Hallelujah. Who we start in another chapter? Romans, the 15th chapter. Um, are y'all ready? <clears throat> Thank the Most High for Elder Yosef holding down the conference line uh, faithfully for many years to date. Thank the Most High for Ed. He be in here with us too. Thank the Most High for Ed. Hallelujah. Uh, my mother-in-law, Mother Joyce is in the building. Thank the Most High for her. Evangela is in the building. I uh, thank the Most High for her as well. My mother's in the building. Uh, thank the Most High for her. Al Mal, my pal is in the building. Continue to pray for his health. He's going through um, some some health things, but he, he with us. And thank the Most High for that. Taylor, let the tag games begin then. Thank the Most High. Hallelujah. Uh, for for uh, uh, Taylor, we back at it, y'all. Let's get it. Romans 15. <clears throat> One, look what it says. We then that are strong are to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Are y'all listening? Latricia Johnson, we in here. Um, the 14th chapter was talking about the week. Chapters and verses are for navigational purposes. This is one epistle. This is one letter, y'all. So, when they told us to, to receive, you know, our brothers and sisters, but not to doubtful disputation, not to doubtful disputation, because the weak, you know, have some theological challenges. The challenge isn't that they like to eat herbs. The challenge is they think you need to be eating them too. And if you don't, you're going against Yah. You with me, Barbara? And so those from a theological standpoint that believe they can eat all things, they're completely in love with Yah, Leslie Sutton. They're completely in love with Yah. They're following him 100%. They're walking in the spirit of truth. They're walking in the spirit of love. <clears throat> they're not going to use uh, their liberties as a cloak of maliciousness, meaning we got freedom to do certain things, but we're not going to do them offensively to offend based on what we know. You with me, uh, Dave? <clears throat> Bless you, Mother Katie. Stay with me. We're not going to use the knowledge that we have to bash people, to disregard people, to look down our nose at people. Are y'all listening? So Romans, the 15th chapter, is talking to those that say they're strong. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Is y'all listening to that? Say, say if you're at the point where you got this wonderful relationship with Yah, and you understand the mysteries, you understand truth, you definitely shouldn't be the person that's, that's hurting people, spiritually wounding people. That's for the weak. Are y'all with me? That's for those that don't know that don't know y'all like they should. Don't know his truth like they should. Are they saved? Yeah. But you got some folks if if they don't see you with a beard, if they don't see you with fringes, they don't even want to hear you. They weak. <clears throat> 
How are we supposed to respond to them? Those that got a level of truth. That know Yah is one. And we ought to love him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love our neighbor as ourselves. Those that know that, that you can hang all the law and the prophets on that. You ain't got to worry about no fringes. And being led by his spirit completes all 10 of the commandments. All 613, to be honest. <laughs> if you know that, and you say you're strong, then you ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. And not to please yourself. You with me from wrong price? Look, a weak person in the faith could be sexy. Did you hear what I said? I said a weak person in the faith could be handsome or pretty. Nice looking. And might want to go to bed with you. You with me, Tia? <laughs> Stay with me, y'all. A, 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 per a, a person is nice looking could want to sleep with you. A and they that are strong, you ought to bear that infirmity. Don't do it. Don't condemn them to hell. Pray for them. Stand. Are y'all with me? Side note. We'll be praying with you, Mother. Mother's having surgery this morning. Mother Katie. Let's enter her into our prayers. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Rennie, I see you in here. <clears throat> Stay with us now. Romans 15 and 1. We then that are strong. You strong? Are, are, are you strong? Pull up a cheer. We in here, Falcon. We then that are strong. Ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Uh-huh. We then that are strong. Ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. To whom much is given, much is required. You should really be walking in love and in wisdom. Praying for folks, checking in on folks. Not offended if they're not where they should be. Doing what they should do. You should be concerned, but you're not offended, nor are you looking down your nose at them. You're about your father's business. You're going out of your way to save folk. You going out your way to, 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 to bring people into the faith. You going out your way to spread love. Even to spread truth. See, someone that's strong um, will spread truth when it's unpopular. Knowing that truth offends people. Listen to what I'm saying. Truth offends people. I'm going to tell you some more. Truth offends people you love. How is it that I can preach and teach something that will offend you, make you uncomfortable, but still love you when you respond to your discomfort based on the truth I'm teaching and preaching? Do you know what that looked like? That looks like Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of the wicked. Then look, faithful are the wounds. Someone that really love you will tell you the truth to the point that it can wound you. I'm willing to wound you with truth, yet while loving on you. Now watch this. If I wound you with truth and you're wounded and you're weak in the faith, you might attack me. You might, you might, you might, you might, you might not be happy to see me, but yet I remain happy to see you. Are y'all listening? I'm still, I, I would give you a, a, a glass of water when I know you wouldn't give it to me. Yeah. I'll be kind to you 
though you might not be being kind to me and you're not being kind to me based on the level of truth that I'm sharing with you, <clears throat> what I stand for. It, it, it still remains true when the Bible say, give not that which is holy on the dogs. That remains true. You can even position yourself to where I can't give you the truth on the level that I would love to because you're too offended. You're fighting against truth. So I can't give it to you like that. But I'm still kind to you. I still know you're a believer. And I'm going to receive you, but not to die for disputation. I believe y'all going to bring you out. If a man sees somebody overtaken in the fault, the Bible says, ye, ye that are spiritual, restore such a one. I'll, 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 I'll operate, Frank. I operate in the spirit. Listen, I operate in the spirit of restoration. Regardless of how you treat me or how you look at me. You with me, G-Man? <clears throat> oh, this gets deep. Romans 15 and 1. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Let me show you somebody that was strong. The Messiah was. He exampled and lived for and fed and healed the same demographic of people that were saying crucify him. Yeah. When the Romans was destroying and killing him, out to murder him, and as he hung on that tree, not like a cross, that was lied, but how he hung on that tree, overlooking the people that he fed and healed and ministered to and came to save, he overlooking them same people that, that was, and what was coming out their mouth was crucify him. He looked over those same people and said, forgive them for they know not what they do. He made a way of salvation for them by him saying that. Think the father heard him when he said that? Of course he did. Did he do it for his namesake? Of course he was. Because the son was wearing his name, Yahusha. Yah is salvation is the definition. He stayed true to the father's name. Even when he was hanging on that tree, looking over a demographic of people that he loved. Then was his kinfolk. He was their kinsman redeemer. And he looked overlooked the crowd that was hollering, crucify him, crucify him. Same people he was on there being crucified for. Are y'all listening? But yet he still spoke the words of eternal life over them. Forgive them for they know not what they do. They was adults. They was of age. What you mean? Uh, forgive them for they know not what they do. How could they not have known? Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah. Neither indeed can be. Oh, y'all listen. That's Romans 8 chapter. 1 Corinthians second chapter say, the natural man receive not the things of the spirit of Yah, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they're spiritually discerned. He knew spiritually, they was blind, they couldn't see. They was religious. And they was up under the Roman religious influence. They was up under the spirit of Esau. Yeah, bloodline of Abraham, but it was the sellout bloodline of Abraham. The side of Abraham, uh, the seed of Abraham that, 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 that catered to the flesh over the spirit. They were under them influence because them religious jokers uh, had, was in control back then. And they was going through the crowd telling the Yahudim, right? The part of the part of 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 of, of Jacob, they was, he, he, they was poisoning uh, 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 Judah. They was in the crowd saying, "Say, get keep Barabbas and kill him," and they were under that that influence. And they did it. They start they start chanting along with, with, with these fake. Religious rulers. 
Crucify him. Crucify him. Charvet. Sure, That's what they did. <clears throat> Listen. Thank y'all for uh, all this um, tagging y'all doing. Uh, Charvet and Dave and uh, Taylor. That's how you. That's how you get folks to get this word. Listen. Romans fifteen and one. When we then. We then that are strong are the better infirmities of the weak. You say you strong? Then when folks get at you because you ain't got a beard or wearing fringes, tell you the women, women can't preach. Yeah, they weak. Because there's no male or female in the Messiah. Tell you that uh, uh, Gentiles can't be saved. There, 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 there's no, 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 no Jew or Greek. Is there male and females? Of course there is. There's still women and men, but, but, but being a man or a woman don't stop you from being able to have the Messiah. Are you listening? Being bloodline or not, don't stop you from getting, having a relationship with the Messiah. Yeah, there's still uh, Yahudim. There's, there's still so-called Jew and Gentiles. There's still, there, yeah, it is. It's like there's still men and women. See, when you pervert it in your theological position, when you're weak, you don't understand that. When you're weak, you believe that since there's no, 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 no Jew or Gentile, then that don't matter. That's, that's weakness. When there's a bloodline people that was shipped into slavery and dogged out. In fact, the phase we're going into now, there's millions and millions and millions of dollars spent by these wicked people, by these fake Jews in America. Mil millions and millions and millions of dollars of that spent right now to reignite racism. <laughs> Because the Yahudim bloodline is so-called black people. I've seen a brother teaching and he was showing how that speech from Putin, he never said that. He never said that stuff. I was, look, I was looking at some brothers that was showing Beverly Hampton, they were showing that Putin never said the things that they, that, that they said he said. They're trying to ignite a race war. They've been working on it for years. And they spent, and they spent uh, hundreds of millions to put it together. Watch how many racial events you're going to see on television and on YouTube. There's a show called Undisputed, which is true without question. And I really appreciate the doctor, right? Yet shows like that is used to cause a racial divide. That is so deep because... We have to celebrate a brother like Rashad, right? Banks, we got to celebrate a brother that will stand against the atrocities of the police, right? And their racist um, uh, the, it's not the policies, it's, it's the racist people that's running it. It's a racist institution. If, if you ran the policies appropriately, it would be fair. But it's not fair because the people that's governing it. For a brother to have a show that exposes that is a good thing. What wicked people will do is use that, though, to defund the police. And the reason they wanted to defund the police so that 
it can help fuel race riots. Yeah. They're master devils now. You defund the police. You have what you have like in urban areas. You have an increase in crime because of the circumstances. See, they create circumstances that cause civil unrest. Couple that with racism and they'll target a certain demographic of people to give them the mindset of a res revolutionary. All planned. <clears throat> then they want to rise up and fight against the powers. But they're going to make a certain demographic of people rise up. And they're going to expose the color of their skin as opposed to what they're really upset about. <clears throat> and then they're going to ignite a the different color of skin to look at them and, and, and act like they trying to take something from you. They don't like you. And they pitch race, racial tension. They hate both sides. Yeah, they hate both sides. So they pitch them against one another. And that's how they plan to destroy America. From the inside out. Now, a believer, Romans 15 and 1, we then that are strong out of better from this week. We, the believers, won't get caught up into that. Are you listening? As difficult as it may be, we're led by the Ruah. And we're willing to die for truth. Like the Messiah did. He actually died for the people that was saying crucify him. He said forgive them for they know not what they do. Because he knew they didn't know. You can look at uh, uh, race. R r racist. They don't know what the heck they're talking about. They think they're fighting for their rights. They think they're fighting for their survival. No you've been tricked. And you're about to destroy your own survival. The most high is merciful to his children. Because he got a, a bigger problem with the devils that tricked him and turned humanity on him. Are y'all listening to what I'm saying? <sighs> See, the fallen angels knew better. They was in the presence of Yah and they're mightier, stronger, wiser beings. They knew what they was doing. That devil that, that was in, 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 the, in the garden, God, God real. That devil that deceived Eve in the garden, he knew what he was doing. Eve, the one that got deceived, and, and Adam acts like a sellout. But that devil knew what he was doing. That's why salvation wasn't for the angels. They knew better. Salvation was for humans. Are y'all listening? Because y'all don't like a bully. Someone that willfully sinned. Someone that set it up. We got some folks, the children of the fallen, setting stuff up. Luciferians, they set this stuff up. Are y'all listening? See, more people be hearing this if more people knew how to tag or was willing to tag. This type of stuff people need to hear. Are y'all listening? Romans 15 and 1. We then that are strong are the better infirmities of the weak. And not to please ourselves. Are you listening? And not to please ourselves. Yeah, we then that are strong are to bear the infirmities of the weak. Who's the weak? Those that's religiously off and believing you gotta you gotta you gotta wear certain things and do certain things a certain way. As opposed to what Romans 14 taught. Let a man be fully persuaded in his own mind, and you're gonna answer the Yah as an individual. And you want to use your pet peeves and, and, and your position. He stopped you from drinking. You think shouldn't nobody else drink. No, you don't drink. How about that? 
and quit judging folks to do that's living right, that accepted the Messiah, that's following Yah. Keep your mouth off them. You a hater. Quit, quit causing division. Those that are strong know how to deal with folks like that. I'm trying to tell you something. They still love them, but they're going to correct them. And they're not going to bite off into what they're talking about. Huh? We then that are strong are the better infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. The Messiah didn't come here to please himself as a man. It pleased him to save them who he came to save. He was seeking those that was lost. That's what pleased him. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the torture stake. Despising the shame. He despised what he was going through. But he was willing to go through what he was going through. Despising it the whole time. Because he wasn't here to please himself as a human being. What did he say in the Garden of Gethsemane? When, when, when sweat was pouring uh, off of him like blood dripping. <clears throat> Stress level that would have killed him had he had sin in his life, but he never sinned. So death had no rights over him. Stress level. And, and he, he was praying to the father, I would that this cup pass from me, a.k.a. this mission. I would that I can get out of this mission because of the shame because of the horror and the terror associated with being hung on a tree by these unyali Romans while my people signing off on it, who I came to save. Listen, he said, I would have just cut past from me. He said, but nevertheless, not my will. What will? The will of the flesh. He wasn't here to please himself. He wasn't here to please himself. Not my will, but thy will will be done. He was here to please the Father, his will. And his will was to please those that was twisted. They was lost. They was messed up. But he going to rescue his children. He going to rescue the believer. He going to give them what they call grace. He going to give them the unmerited favor to overcome themselves and overcome death. He going to give them the power to rise again. Yeah. In spite of these wicked angels, these wicked devils, and they wicked children. Put a one in here if y'all with me. Put a one in, in, in here if y'all with me. Oh, I'm going to teach anyway. Put a one in here. <laughs> Listen. So Romans 15 and 1. We then that are strong are to bear the infirmity of this weak and not to please ourselves. You got some jokers that will feel some kind of way about teaching on this level to a demographic of people that don't support ministry. But if you're strong, you're going you gonna to teach like people do do what they're supposed to do by you. Is y'all listening? Don't nothing stop somebody to love y'all. You and bear the infirmities of the weak. Folks are not doing what they're supposed to do. You got to preach a love on, uh, 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 say, say women that will bust up your marriage, want to sleep with you, want to slide to, you got to preach and love on them too. Yeah. You can't back off of folk because of your personal, whatever you got going on. Y'all's business reigns supreme. Are y'all listening? You can't, you can't preach for filthy lucre's sake. You don't pay me. I ain't preaching. Woe on to me. Woe on to anybody that got the basura if they don't preach it for some personal stuff. Yeah, I ain't tripping off your personal stuff. They looking at you funny. I heard they was talking behind your back. You know how many jokers smile on my face and talk behind my back? There was a, what, a Facebook post, but it's all biblical, but there's a Facebook post say, uh, those you help, you know, there's people that you help that, that that are calling you evil behind your back. You know how many jokers I got like that in my life? Smile on my face every time I talk to them, they want my money. And I be giving it to them too. Every time I turn around, they want something from me. They don't support the ministry. 
They want me to support them. And they talk evil about me behind my back. And they don't know I know. Because I don't even show them I know. And I still give them money. Why? Because we then that are strong out of bad infirmities of the weak. <sighs> and not to please ourselves. We're not here to please the flesh. I'm not here... I'm not here to 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 uh, 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 party like a rock star. That's not what I'm here for. I used to be here for that, but I wasn't here for that when I thought I was. I didn't know the call. I was one of them jokers like the Messiah was talking about. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Don't you know more now than you did when you first believed? You thought you knew, but you didn't know. You grew into knowing. <sighs> Folks that came here to this ministry, into energy, into sage, burning sage and burning incense, all that old weird stuff. Folks, folks, when they first started saying stuff and doing stuff they shouldn't be doing, they don't do it no more. Why? Because they learning. They learning the ways of Yah. Yah love his children and he's transforming us by the renewing of our mind. Some of us came to the ministry from a, from a broken, satanic, luciferian relationship. The Most High will deliver them from the relationship and then save their soul. Forgive them for they know not what they do. We come to him not knowing what the heck we doing. And he, he spoon feed us. Because had we known the whole thing, a lot of us never would have came. But he spoon feed us and raised us up spiritually and getting us out of this voodoo and this magic and this humanism, soul power, man power, woman power. He started delivering you from that dumb stuff. Stuff ain't going to save you. Fringes, and beards, rituals and feast days and festivals. He'll begin to deliver you from that. Oh, yeah, he delivered you from Christmas, too. You need to know the, the, the definition of feast days and festivals and Sabbaths. You need to understand that. And then you go, if you keep studying, you'll mess around to find out the tabernacle and all of it was in the Messiah. All those were shadows and types of the seed of the woman that were bruised the head of the serpent. You would figure that out. Keep studying. And those that figured it out, 15 and 1. We then that are strong out of bed infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Are y'all with me? Put a two in here. Just checking. Just want to check. I got I got to check. I don't want to lose nobody on the curve. I don't want to lose nobody on the curve. Put a two in here. Stay with me. You got some folks that started off goofy, saying stuff they ain't got no saying, high and drunk. Now they sober and they growing. Bunch of rhetoric, saying stuff they not supposed to say. Now they slowly, and you be patient with them. You don't throw folks away. Get to being disrespectful. You be patient and love. He that is wise wins souls. What's the wisdom? Love. Love. Love on them with the love of Yah, not your love, Yah's love. Are y'all listening? That that wasn't that wasn't a cue for you to start tongue kissing with your love, with your flowers and your your uh, chocolates and pimp game. Get out of here with that. The love of Yah. Keep your clothes on, player. The love of Yah. We then that are strong, uh -huh. we then that are strong are to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. I'm not here to please me. I might get my feelings hurt uh, every now and then. I do. I do. I got feelings. I get my feelings hurt. I'll be all right. I ain't no weakling running around here. Got big old buff jokers with pistols killing people. Why? Because their little feelings hurt. They try to act tough. No, you weak as heck. That's why you're so violent. 
You weak. You got your little feelings hurt. I'm a man. No, you's a sucker. You got your little feelings hurt. Killer. You blow somebody's brains out because your little feelings hurt. Get your feelings together. You weak. Sneaking up on people, killing, put a bullet in their head. You, and, and the streets say you strong. No, you's weak. That's why you do stuff like that because you heck a weak. You weaker than an uh, uh, eight year old girl play, uh, playing hopscotch. Who muscles haven't started developing yet. Little girl. You weak. Got your feelings hurt. Listen. We then that are strong. Listen. We then that are strong are the better infirmities of the weak. Look. Look. That means I'm strong in love. I'm strong in the will of Yah. And I'm not. Deterred off of your nasty attitude. I'm not deterred because you're rude. I'm not deterred because you're selfish. I'm going to slide you some of this truth at the appointed time. And, 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 and I can't take it personal. What you do or what you won't do. I got to do what y'all call me to do. That's, what's, that's when you're strong. When, when you're horny and they're your cup of tea and they're willing to kill your whole anointing, they're willing to take you to a, a, motel, a hotel a motel room, save some money, a motel room, and kill all, kill your marriage, kill your anointing, but you're not willing to go. Even if your marriage isn't good, you still ain't going to go. Why? Because you're not here to please yourself. You're here to save that which is lost. You're here to be humble to Yah and let him use you as a, as a chosen vessel. We have this treasure in earthly vessels. The treasure is the anointing of Yah, the word of Yah, the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of Yah. That's the treasure in earthly vessels. That's us. And if you're strong, you bear those that oppose themselves. If any man... You see somebody overtaken in the fall. Ye, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thine own self, lest thou also be tempted. What is that, Galatians 6? If you see somebody overtaken in the fall, they sinning, they're wrong, they're weak. If you see somebody sinning, this is not your opportunity to smoke dope with them, to get drunk with them. Or to have sex with them. This, that's not, that's not, mm -mm. that's not, uh, uh. It's not your opportunity to backbite with them. Start talking about the people of y'all with them. No, that's not that, mm, -mm. <sighs> Romans 15 and 1. We then that are strong are the better firmness of the weak and not to please ourselves. Second verse. I got to go in a minute, y'all. Second verse. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Are y'all listening? In other words, we're here to build each other up in Yah. And if you got a gift and I see it, I should capitalize on that gift and encourage you through it. I notice you got the gift of hospitality. They could they could be ready to get high and sleep with you on the side. But but they're hospitable. And of course you ain't gonna go sleep with them. And, and you're gonna say, boy, you sure got some hospitality. Do you know that scripture? That you hospitable? Did, did you know that, that that's a, a quality of Yah and, and, and how you open up your home and how you help folk and how you feed folk? Y'all with me? You use that to encourage them. They can say, oh, that will encourage them. I am somebody in Yah. I'm not just a piece of meat. Are y'all listening? You sure know that Bible. 
They might stop cussing because you showing them the quality in Yah. They might not see it like that. They might be inwardly down on themselves. I'm just trying to teach y'all something. Put a three in here if you're learning something. If you're with me, are you being edified? Put a three in here if you're being edified right now. Let every one of us, second verse, y'all, let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. You want to encourage one another and so much the more as we see the day approaching. The day is approaching fast. We, we need, come on. Do you know how many more people come in here when Dave is in here? Do you know how many more people chime in to this ministry when Dave is in here? And how many less people chime in when he not? Because he goes after demographic and he's good at tagging. And the people he tagging need that. Because they end up getting a word that can change their life. And they can switch from death to life. I'm just telling you. He needed to know that. So the most I had me say it. Are y'all listening? Let every one of us listen. Let every one of us please his neighbor. Not you. you please somebody else. Edify the body. We're all members in particular. And you could be edifying the arm. A leg. A foot. We need a foot. We need an arm. We need a leg. Yeah. Are you listening? Let every one of us please his neighbor for good. To edification. Third verse, for even the Messiah pleased not himself. Didn't I just talk about the Messiah? When he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. For even the Messiah pleased not himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of them, the reproach thee fell on me. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Anyone that's insulting or going against his children, he said, give me that. Okay? Cash your cares upon me, knowing I care. I'm going to take care of that. I got you. Y'all being for you is more than the whole world being against you. Those that's hating on you, don't worry about that. Give it to me. I got it. I'll embarrass the infirmities of the weak. We the weak, y'all, in comparison to the Messiah. And then when we grow up, we supposed to bear uh, the, 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 the weaknesses, the infirmities of our brothers and sisters, the shortcomings and stuff. We supposed to be standing in the gap praying for them. Showing them the example. One of the good things about me being faithful to y'all, even when I'm sick, even when I feel good, y'all have been in here with me coughing, snotty nose, bad hair day, toe up hat day. <laughs> Excuse me one second, I'll be right back, y'all. Y'all, we, we, we growing together. If I had to jump up and run to the bathroom, how embarrassing. How unprofessional. What, 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 what a way to destroy your, 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 your image. But through that, real time, you see somebody that's going to be faithful to Yah, to the preaching and teaching of the word, no matter what. Sleep in my eye. Walter Sims, is y'all listening? Some folks it can't go live because cause they got to edit. You know, they got to edit. It got to look good. Got to make sure you, everything is right. Makeup right. Wig is on straight. Are you listening? But when you, when you give yourself away so y'all can use you, you get what you get. Because what you really need to get is the word. No matter what. Go somewhere with my family. I'm plugging up. I'm bringing gadgets with me. Because the word got to go forth. Are y'all listening? 
Sometimes I'm sneezing. Yeah. Get some spit in your mouth. Man, I'm not finna swallow this. You might have to. If you're gonna keep teaching. If it's too much, you're gonna have to say, hold on one second, y'all. I'll be right back. Because the word gotta go forth. Third verse, y'all. For even the Messiah pleased not himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of them, the insults, the disrespect, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. All your burdens, all your shortcomings, you can give them to me. I'll take care of it. Are you listening? Y'all got to get this. The sins of the world fell on him. That's the reproaches, y'all. Y'all got it. The law wanted you. Y'all said no. Yeah, the warrant that was out for your arrest, and you didn't come to Yah just to get the warrant off your back. You messed around and fell in love with him, then the warrant disappeared. The judge had to bow down. Yeah, the most high control the hearts of the king. Hey, back in the Messiah day, they had like hits out on him to kill him. Not only hits out on him to kill him, they also had like warrants out for him. But he escaped every time because it wasn't his time to go. See, when you got faith in Yah and you work for Yah, they can't touch you until he say. You're supposed to preach and teach and just trust him. And you're not here to win a popularity contest. <sighs> yeah. I didn't reach out to help folk. Cost me money and my time. Heck of people. They'll take your stuff and spit in your face and talk behind your back. After you help them, they'll switch the story. They won't even be honest. You help them, they say they did it themselves. That's how wicked people live. You let them be. You let them do that. Do whatever you got to do. You got to still walk in love. And if they end up needing you again, you, you be there. For the edifying of uh, 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 the will of Yah. Preventure they might be saved. I'm trying to tell y'all something. I'm trying to tell you something. Those that's in the Ruah understand what I'm telling you. Come on, y'all. For even the Messiah, our example, who we hollering about, who the, most of the world call Jesus, that's not his name, <clears throat> which is a whole nother thing. But for even the Messiah, please not himself. Listen. If you're talking to me, Sims, if you're talking to me, Sims, put your, your contact information in here and I'll respond to you. Bless you. Third verse, y'all. For even the Messiah pleased not himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. I'm cool with that. We kind of like looking for problems to solve. It's cool. We're not avoid some people. I don't need no negativity. I'm not running from negativity. I'd rather, I'd rather look at it like negativity running from me. Yeah. Negativity gets slammed and turned into positivity. Talk back to me. Turn it, it turns in, it's conquered by the will of Yah, by the word. Come on, y'all. Great is he that's in us than he that's in the world. For even the Messiah pleased not himself as it is written. The reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. Get ready to go, y'all. It's time for me to go. The Messiah, the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. As we beheld his glory, as of the only begotten of the Father, full of unmerited favor and truth. Listen. When the word was made flesh, the flesh profit nothing. 
See, it's the, it's the word, it's, it's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. He wasn't here to please his flesh. He wasn't here to, to party with Puffy and them to get a record deal. He wasn't here for that. He wasn't here to open up a big construction company and ball till he fall. He wasn't here for pop your collar, holla, stack another dollar. He wasn't here for that. He, he was here so that the reproaches of, of Yah's children could fall on him. And they fell on him. And then he died on the tree for you and me. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. For even the Messiah, our example, y'all, I got to go, y'all. Our example. You let a call on him, you be like him then. He want to baptize himself inside of you to lead and guide you in all truth. He want to take you through the mind renewal process so you'll be able to prove what's good, acceptable, and his perfect will in his last and evil days. Third verse, y'all. Even the Messiah pleased not himself. But as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. Man, you got to respect that. He took it on the chin for our sin. So we can live again. Are y'all listening? And I'm with that. Yeah, I'm with that. Can we do that? What he did? Put four in here if we can do that. You willing to do that too? What the Messiah did? Put a four in here then. Come on. Put the flow in here then. We should improve then. Even as a ministry, as a body. Are we working together? Put a flow in here. We're going to need each other. We're going to need each other. We're one body. Oh, they got enough money. They didn't spend money, 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 money. They, they're in Oakland. They're in Oak. One of one of the hubs for these people is in Oakland. They're in Baltimore. That's why that ship hit that bridge. Baltimore ain't, ain't nothing but another Oakland. How a ship gonna hit a bridge and tear it down on accident? Folks believe anything. They believe, the folks that believe that what happened over in Baltimore is the same people that believe 9-11, see? <laughs> you got some folks that believe that type stuff. <laughs> These devils be deviling because people is sheeple. They believe anything. <clears throat> I'm not just talking when I say it either. Jones, I'm not just talking on some real talk. Ground Zero is Oakland. And they're spending a lot of money and they're going to kick off the racial tension. Right now, they're just uh, defunding the police. You can get out in Oakland and the police ain't coming. That's why crime is up. That's, that's designed. Big money's being spent to make sure it happened like that. Yeah. And watch the increase of racial tension. They're about to kick off. You saw it in the movie Purge. Trump a part of it. So is Biden. Both of them. Two different uh, wings of the same wicked bird. I'm just trying to tell you. But us believers. We're going to be praying. Fasting and praying and preaching love and truth the whole time. Are y'all listening? We're not going to get caught up in this racial war. We're going to get caught up in both sides getting saved. Are y'all listening? <clears throat> y'all going to deal with all. See, y'all ain't deceived. People is. Y'all's not deceived. People is. See, Satan deceived the world, not y'all. He ain't deceived. And if you with him, you're going to be all right. <laughs> it's, 
If you with him, you're going to be all right. The reason why believers is shouldn't be so caught up in the politics, this is the reason. And tell me if it lined up with scripture, because everybody got an opinion. Are you listening to me? <laughs> but the reason why we shouldn't get so caught up into politics is one is rigged, but that's not the reason. The reason is the Most High had a problem with Israel saying, give us a king like the other nations. Curse is the man that trusts in man and make it flesh his strength. We don't trust people like that. We're not supposed to. We're supposed to get people saved. Are y'all listening? In the, in the dispensation we're in, this dispensation got to end. The reign of Esau is right now. Jacob's still running from Esau. Yeah. Jacob is running from Esau. Esau is an animal, y'all. And that's why in Esther, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, it says that Esau is the end of the world. But Jacob is the beginning of that which follows. The Most High got to tear down this Esau system. That's what he about to do. But right now, Esau finna kick up to some dust. So when China get here to, to, to collect what they paid for, they bought America. When they get here, they'll be here in a minute. And when they get here, have ya. Putin and China, when they get here, just have y'all. Are y'all listening? Y'all gonna sort this. Y'all gonna sort this whole thing out, y'all. We need to repent. Don't get caught up in nothing they doing. Looking on to Yahusha, who's the author and finisher of your faith. Look at y'all. See, though I know what they doing, and I know they spending a bunch of money on it. I know these things are going to come to pass because the Bible said it. And this is a part of Yah's will. He don't want to shut up heaven that there be no rain. He don't want to send the locusts to divide the land. He don't want to send the pestilence among his people. Because look at us. Look at us. We thugs and thoughts. Yah, I don't want you like that. Yah, I don't want you like that. He going to let some stuff happen. So you can cut it out. So you can repent. My suggestion to you is to repent now. Y'all ready to repent and pray? Put five on it. <clears throat> Let's repent now. I'm not tripping off them spending all that money in Oakland. I keep telling y'all. I'm not tripping off the fact they sit in boats in the bridges in Baltimore. Trust y'all. Let's pray. They got some more stuff they finna do too. Talk back to me. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence once again. Uh... We're under the shadow of the, of the Almighty. Uh, your name is a strong tower and the rights run into it and they safe. We're safe in you. You're the author and finisher of our, of our faith. The victory is written in for us. We believe and trust you and only you. Uh, deliver us from all sins. Deliver us from ourselves. Not to depend on ourselves. Curse is the man that trusts the man. We trust you. And as we bow down to you, give us the unmerited favor, what they call grace. Give us the unmerited favor to obey your word and to be examples, vessels of honor in these last and evil days. We're privileged to be your children that are called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. We bow down to your will, give you permission to do what you do. Show up and show out and do what you do even in our lives. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor, not only now but forever. In the majesty name, Yahushua, we have to pray. Hallelujah. And Amon. 
That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the Most High say. Okay, y'all um, take a mental note. Uh, Sunday we got a barbecue plan, pay for the park and everything. Uh, Sunday, but it looked like it might rain, and if it do, um, I'm gonna look at the weather one more time. If it do, I'm gonna switch it from outside to another location because I still want to get together, have some good food, and we're gonna learn about the true. Uh, uh, origin of Easter. I like that. Some folks are celebrating that uh, satanic uh, uh, day with with, 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 with with all that bull crap they got going on. We're not a part of that. But uh, we want to have some good food and show the children a good time. So we'll figure it out. So stay tuned. I love all y'all. Thank everybody push the share button, sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody to tag you know what I mean, Charve? You came in tagging with the uh, at follow me and all that. All oh, that's cool. That's that's what we need to do. I wish everybody learned to do it because the the truth would get out further if more people were tagging. So I pray that more people will learn how to do it and then start inviting your loved ones in as well. And thank everybody that financially support the ministry. So when we have big barbecues and stuff like that, I pay for it. Just so you know. I pay for it. You know, I pay for all kind of stuff we do, um, and uh, it'd be good for people that you know grow here, sow here, so I can continue to do it. I'm known for throwing big things for the communities out of my pocket uh, for years, and it'd be great to get help. And then it's good to support those. Don't muzzle the mouth of the ox to tread out the corn. You know, Paul said, did, did y'all write that for ox or for us? And he said, surely for us. You're not supposed to treat your gift like that. I'm a gift to y'all. And you, you're supposed to support me, just so you know. But um, help me support so I can help love on y'all and get the word out and love on people. Is that all right? I thank everybody to do. Y'all want to talk about the lesson 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.